make sure that you are being very specific in your conversation with people and tell them exactly what you want them to do so they can come back to you with precisely what you asked for. Hello, my awesome leaders. Now, before we get started today, I want to um, do something very important for you. I want to have you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you three secrets to the human mind. Three secrets that will completely transform your life. So um, get ready, and what I'd like you to do is I want you to find a pen, if you're driving, pull over. I want you to find a pen and write this down, okay? I'll give you a second to do so. All right, so uh, the first thing is that if you tell people that you have a secret to tell them, they will pay attention. Second thing is, if you tell people to pick up a pen and write this down, they will pick up a pen and write this down because we're all trained monkeys, right? Um, the third thing is, is when you tell people exactly what to do, they will do it if you give them the reason to do it. So um, obviously that was just a quick little exercise to see if you did it. And I'm assuming that most of you paid attention because I said I had three secrets I wanted to tell you. You picked up a pen or a pencil or you thought, man, I don't have one or man, I'm driving, but you went to go do it. You wanted to do it. What's the point? The point is, is that I think too often we're afraid to tell people exactly what we expect from them. We tell them this is how it's going to be. So your team members who are the directors of first impressions or whoever's doing the follow up before people come into the office, they need to be the ones who give very specific directions, very specific um, ideas on what to do. So when you come into the office, this is the first thing you're going to do. Now, when, after we do this and that and the other, we're going to have you do an exam. And during that exam, the doctor's going to tell you that, that what he diagnosed as treatment. And at the end of the exam, we're going to, if you're, if you're a candidate for treatment, we're going to get you started in braces that day. See, that's the key, right? Tell them exactly what you want for them. So you're going to come in and you're going to hopefully, um, not hopefully, sorry. When you come in, you're going to have, we're going to need you to have everybody there who can make the buying decision to be there. Right? You're telling people what you expect from them. People actually want this, by the way. Your team members want you to tell them exactly what you expect from them. On the surveys that I get back all the time, before I go out to an office, I always get the survey back of, like, um, I just want to know exactly what they expect from me. And I know for some of you, you're like, what are you talking about? We talk about this all the time. You talk in generalizations. Um, you aren't very uh, uh, specific about what you need. So that's where they are. And, and also people hear things differently, right? You might've told somebody one thing, but if their learning style is data, so they need it written down, they're not connecting with it exactly the way that you want them to or the way that they need. So it's important for you to make sure that you are very specific in what you want them to do. So throughout everything, I want you not just, I want not just you to be the person that's very specific and tell people exactly what you need from them but you also want your uh, team members to do that for your patients. There's a training that I do, many of you have seen. Um, I probably have uh, talked about it in a past video. I have over 50, almost 60 of these videos now, so I'm sure I have talked about it before. But the ESP factor, right? ESP, not like being able to read somebody's mind, but being able to use words like exactly, specifically, and precisely, and being willing to say to them, okay, what exactly do you need? Or I need you to do specifically this thing, and I want you to precisely go from step A to step B to step three, um, A, to, A to B to three, A to B to C. So make sure that you are being very specific in your conversation with people and tell them exactly what you want them to do so they can come back to you with precisely what you asked for. See how I did that? That's what you want to do with your team members. Be very instructional about it and yes you're gonna have to repeat it over and over and over again that's part of being a leader I know I know I've talked about that before but just remember part of being a leader is that you're going to have to get comfortable with repetition with repetition there was a podcast interview I was doing recently which by the way if any of you have not been a guest on my podcast yet we would love for all of you to be a, pod, a guest on the podcast as the experts that you are um, or if you have friends that you think would be good member uh, interviews in the podcast please do that but 
um, the interviewer yesterday, I was talking to them, they were a consultant and I said, so what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given about business? And she said, I was taught very early on that I need to get very comfortable with repetition and repeating myself because as a entrepreneur and as a leader, that's what you're going to do over and over and over again with your team members. You can't expect it just to be a one time you said it and it's over and you know what, what's it called? Set it and forget it, right? Say it one time and that's it. You have to be comfortable with repetition. So the thing I'm going to ask of you is to be get comfortable with repetition, but also teach to get comfortable with repetition that your team members need to be very specific on this is what we want you to do. Just like I said, here are three things, three secrets to the human mind. This is, I want you to do this, and people will do it if you give them a reason to do it. So, hope that serves you. Hope you have an amazing day, and we will see you on the next video.